Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode. That was really that was a little too quick. Let's start again. Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. That's better, isn't it? That's a little bit more understandable. So, I've got something really cool to show you this episode. At the start, at least. Something that I've been working on off camera. Is that in line? That is in line. And then we're going to be working on some uh, hallways today. Finishing those off because, check this out, right? We all know when we come in, we have the nice sort of reception area with the guest book and the sign-in book and this beautiful mirror that I love. And uh, then it's changed. Well, it's not changed. I've just added some walls. So we can come down this hallway, which is very dark at the moment, which leads off to a left and a right, which goes to the lifeboats on either side of the ship. Then we've got some elevators. And then over here, we've got an opening that goes to another elevator. And we'll also lead down these stairs going out to the front, the VIP area of the ship. This is going to be the VIP area of the room. I know what happened then. Did you see that? I flicked about. I was concerned that this would happen. And it looks like I'm going to have to change how I've got it set up. Because I know exactly what happened. I thought, if I do this, I wonder if that'll happen. And it just did. So, the elevator, this elevator right here is the troublesome one in question. If I go into this elevator, boop, it puts me up into the um, control center, the controller. Oh, while we're in there, comments said, you know, I was talking about if I middle click on these and place them down, I get this weird skin of not what. But apparently, apparently, if I... Hold down left control and middle click. It still don't work. Nope. You guys lied to me. <laughs> oh, shift. Nope. Control. Control. Nope. No, you guys are wrong. Apparently, doing that could have, like, taken out over all the detail as well. Uh, so it would have been the monitor. It doesn't work unless I'm doing something wrong. I was holding left control and middle clicking. But anyway, basically what was happening. Oh, this is, area is dark. I'll have to do that as well. What was ha What happened then is one of these officers walked over and hit one of these pressure plates. Now the pressure plate doesn't teleport the person that steps on it. It teleports me, the player. And they're not players. They're Entities, I don't know, mobs, I don't know what they're called. So basically, I've got a fly on my monitor. Basically, when he stepped on this, one of those guys stepped on one of these pressure plates, it sent me to here, which is what that, like, complete glitch thing was. That's really funny, actually. So, for the moment... See, he would have done it then. I would have been teleported away right then. No joke, a police chase just went past my door. I get police cars go past my house all the time. Like, I live on a main road. I get all emergency services all day and all night. But I heard, like, five of them. Like, you could hear all the sirens. I turn around. I see one cop guard go past. That he would have stepped on it again. Then, like, this rusty car SUV thing go past. And then, like, four police cars behind it. And they were moving as well. They weren't They weren't just trying to get past this car. This car was running. That's so cool. Maybe my house will be on police interceptors or some police TV show one day. Who knows? <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to, for the moment, I'm going to block up this so they can't get through and walk down. So let me show you the rest of the elevators now that we've got that hiccup out of the way. Basically, all of the elevators on the left will take you up. All the elevators on the right will take you down. Now, there's only one floor above us where we are. No, there isn't. There's two floors above us where we are. <laughs> the first time that we go up, we come to the... Um, I love this carpet. We come to the bedroom area, you know, with all the bedrooms on either side. We've got the restaurant behind us. We've got the uh, bar in front of us. Then if I go up another elevator, boop, we get to the top of the ship. And then, obviously, at the top, there's two elevators, but... They both lead down at the top because obviously there's no much further. There's no further you can go up. So we can go down either one. It'll take us back down. And then we can go down to the main level again. We can go down into the mall where we've got um, obviously the shops on either side. 
and then we can come this way go through the bigger elevator to the uh, what do you call it um, stage area whatever you want yeah this needs to be dressed up in here all these little areas need to be dressed up and lit up especially but then we can go all the way back over to these elevators again and we can go down the right one and get to the uh, engine room it's so cool it gives a real feeling of progression through the uh, through the cruise ship when you go through these it's so so cool we can go back up again and voila I love it I think that's so so cool it it really makes you believe that the whole cruise ship is furnished when it's not there's a lot of space inside this cruise ship not filled but the cruise ship is just so big and the interior would end up being so repetitive if we done every floor I mean we could use five floors for bedrooms if you wanted to but what's the point there's no point in doing that it's going to be boring for you guys to watch it's going to be boring for me to do and it's not going to add anything more to the cruise ship it's just going to add more layers but more chances that you're going to get lost more chances you're going to get bored wandering around there's no point but i did love that carpet up in that floor okay in the in the bedroom floor that carpet was wonderful. And I was thinking, can we use that similar carpet design through, like, the hallways, but with different colors? So let's take that away. Let's give ourselves a glowstone floor to light it up. Set glowstone. No, there's nothing below us. That's, no, good. And we want to come down there. And, yeah, and down here. I should really do some sort of lighting in the in this area as well. There's a lot of lighting and stuff that we need to dress up still. Okay, and then we grab that one. And that one. Now, what colors do we want for the carpet? Let's go carpet. What uh, gray 100%. Now, last time we used light gray, dark gray, and red. Now, I'm thinking, for this floor, light grey, dark grey, and either cyan or blue. I think cyan would be a good one. So, we've got 171.7, 171.8, and 171.9. That's nice and easy to remember. So, we want to do set to 179.7, 179.8, and 179.9. One seventy one. I knew that. I was just, I was just playing with you. I was just messing with you. There we go. <laughs> I like it. Good color choice. <laughs> I, I knew it was one seventy one. I I knew that. I was I was just like seeing what you guys would say if trying to make you laugh. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Great color choice. I like the red. I like the cyan. And I reckon we can do other colors for other hallways. It's a great way to do a floor. It makes it look so much bigger, but so much fuller at the same time. It uses the space and makes more space. Love it. Okay, so we want to have some plants down this hallway and shelves. So let's grab some strew. Should we do actual shelves or carpet shelves? Let's do actual shelves. Let's do actual black shelves. I haven't got any black shelves, I don't think, even in the shops. I think they're all wooden. But I think black shelves against the white walls would look really nice. Uh, I'm going to use jungle leaves for some of these uh, plants because they're a little bit fuller. I don't use, always use jungle ones. I like oak the best, but I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And then what about chiseled sandstone because it's got this sort of cobblestone base. That's option number one, and I sort of like it. I do like it. But another one that I used to use a lot... That beautiful noise, that always makes me scared when I hear that. Is using an Eye of Ender and an End Portal Frame. Now, I see a lot of you guys use this as well, and I used to use it a lot. I haven't for a while, but you can do it like that as well, and that gives you another sort of plant design. Now, I really like this for a couple of reasons. One, the base is really nice. Like, I really like how it looks. And then number two, the Eye of Ender in the top 
bridges the gap between the top because obviously the end portal frame is slightly smaller than a full block and it makes it look a little bit like a trunk of the tree. I really like it. I do, I do really like it. We haven't used it yet in this cruise ship. So, so why not give that a go? Now we can have one there and I think just not quite in line, just off center with each um, edge. Oops, we put that in. So we put another one in here and here. And we put the, oops, those in like that. And then in the middle, we can have something, a bookshelf, two bookshelves, or four, two by two bookshelves in the middle. And then maybe, I'm thinking something like that. Grabbing some brown carpet to lay on top. I don't know why I do that, but I always like to have a, br or a carpet color on top of the bookshelves. I don't know what it does because the the top isn't that bad. It's a nice oak oak textured top, but I think that just adds a little bit extra detail, and I like that. I like that. So uh, shelves and paintings. We want to have some shelves. I'm going to do. I can't put them on that level. That see that's where carpet is better. But we don't have black carpet. We've got grey carpet. But that's okay. Um, let's try it. If I went. Well, I think that looks better than the norm than than actual shelves. I don't know why. I, I think it's just because how low we can get them. I think that looks better now. We we've left two blocks before the plant, and then I think we want to leave. I don't know. If we left two blocks, that's three blocks from the edge of the wall. If you include the plant, so that means it would be here, and they're three blocks wide. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It gives us four blocks in the middle. Now, what do we do in the middle? We can get a nice two-by-two two painting in the middle there. I think I was mentioning, though, last episode, how I was going to change all two-by-two two paintings to be something else. Oh, what about, like, a, a one-by-two? Yeah. And then little... No. Oh, I like that. I like that. The shelf is even at a slightly, like a pixel lower height as well. Because obviously the shelves work on the top of the block. And the carpet works on the bottom of the block. So that works. That gives us a little bit of... Yeah, look at that. Okay, definitely dressed that up a little bit. Ceiling needs something. I'm thinking about a dark wood. Just a nice basic dark wood frame that goes around the edge. That would be nice. And around the side here, I think we want to keep it fairly basic because we don't want to clog up this hallway this is <laughs> an emergency hallway uh two blocks this is an emergency hallway and you don't want to uh inhibit movement too much i'm gonna do let's say if we done two blocks between each one how does that sort of work out end up being not great what if we done three blocks between each shelf And then it leaves us three blocks at the edge. I'm happy with that. So we'll have these up here. Now you can imagine on these sh <clears throat> you can imagine on these shelves that they would have um, life jackets and uh, rubber dingy things. You know, rubber rings. Uh, you know, life preservers. That's the word. Uh, and things like that. You know, all, all lined up on the shelf. I don't think we have anything that looks remotely like that. <gasps> we could get leather leather if i could spell uh leather tunic orange dye dye them how do you how, i can't die Cra crafting table then i'm sure that you can craft in creative mode craft that and that that's not quite as orange as i want I can't add any more orange to it, can I? I can't make it brighter. I can add white to make it a little bit light. Does that make any difference? Um, orange. And bone meal. Let's like see if we can mix it up a little bit. Like Lightning. No, that does nothing. So what if I add a little bit of white? No. No. Now, I think, I think that's as orange as we're going to get. Shut up. Shut up. Get away from me. Okay. Um, 
Can I put this on? Let's see what it looks like on. Yeah, that No, that does look like a life jacket. Okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, we'll have that then. And then um, item frames. We can put some of these on the shelves. Now, is... Get out of it, F5. Is there anything that looks like a rubber ring? Like a, a donut shape? I don't think that there, that there really is. Like a donut would be perfect. Like I could retexture a slime ball to look like it. It's an item that I'm not going to ever use. I could do that. Okay, okay, hold on. I got a plan. Let's put some of these down. So I'm going to just dot some um, item frames about. And I'm going to put a mixture of these in here like this. You don't want to fill them all up. Filling them all up is only going to cause unnecessary lag. I'm going to put those in there. Let's get the... Uh, I think dark oak slabs I want. I want a nice dark sort of ring going around the top here. And then we're going to jump into Photoshop. We'll jump into Photoshop and we'll on camera retexture slime ball and see what it does. We haven't done any texturing on camera. Something that I usually do uh, in between episodes and stuff like that. But I do get asked how do you retexture and how do you uh, find the files and how do you save them and how do you get them to work. So we're going to update the Zonocraft, the uh, Zonocraft, the uh, City Texture Pack, live on air. Well, we're not live, on camera. We've got enough time for it. Yeah, 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 we've got enough time for it. So let's have these going across here. Don't do it wrong. Don't do it wrong. Such a long hallway. We're nearly there. Yeah, see how that just like finishes off the entire top there. Looks really, really nice. And then paintings. Mm, no. I think a two wide one would be nice there. Yeah. And then I don't want any down there. I think I want the walls nice and clean and blank. Nothing to bang into. These are all like books on how to survive a sinking ship. Okay, I shall see you in Photoshop. This is going to be cool. Okay, so I've opened up Photoshop here. You don't need Photoshop necessarily for this. Um, you can do it with other... Um, editing softwares, um, image editing softwares. I think GIMP is one. Uh, you can do it with Microsoft Paint that you'll have on your computer, everyone has on their computer, but I don't think on Microsoft Paint you can do transparent textures. You can't have a transparent background on Paint, so that's something to bear in mind. But for normal full block retexturing cobblestone and stuff like that, it won't be a problem at all. Now to find the texture that you want, you're going to go to my computer and you're going to go uh, percent app data percent. I've showed you enough of this over different uh, tutorials. Now yours, if you're doing a normal non-modded world, it'll probably in the .minecraft folder, but if you're using Forge and, and other launches to launch up your Minecraft like I am, uh, mine's going to be in this uh, third folder that I named Minecraft Flans 2 because Minecraft Flans 1 didn't work when I was first starting the world, so I redone it with Flans 2 and, and got it to work. I'm going to then go into resource packs. So New City Texture Pack April 2016, that's the last one that I saved mine as. I should update this. Now we're changing it a little bit more, I will. We can go to Assets, Minecraft, and then you go into uh, Shade, uh, Textures, sorry. Textures into here. And then you've got all your textures that you can then choose different blocks and fonts and all sorts of stuff. Now, for um, what I do most of the time is I'll then go into the search box on the side here if I can't find what I'm looking for. And I'm just going to type in Slime. And it's going to search through only those folders, not your whole computer, only those folders, and we get to slime ball. So now I can uh, click and drag, I think. Oops. Click. No, I don't want to copy it. I want to right click on it and open with Photoshop. There we go. Open with Photoshop. I do different ways. When I use Photoshop, I open things in different ways. Like when I'm doing thumbnails, I'll drag it over. When I'm editing textures, I'll open with. There's like every all sorts of things to remember. 
So there we go. There's a little tiny slime ball. Now we can zoom in here with the magnifying glass. That's as far as we can zoom in. That's a 16 by 16 pixels in total, like all items are in Minecraft. This is a 16 by 16 texture pack. You can get bigger texture packs, like 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, 256 by 256, etc., etc. Bigger and bigger. Now, I've Googled life preservers. In fact, the first result that came up was life preserver weapons. I never knew there was such a thing. But they're, they're all different colors. You know how they look. Uh, some are white and blue, some are white and red, some are orange and red, some are orange and white, some are black and white, some of them are the same colours but reversed. I like the majority of it being orange, but then some of it, like, like strips on it, being white. I like those the best. So, the first thing that we're going to do, I think we're going to keep this circle, so I'm going to drag it up as big as it can go, and I'm going to drag it out to here. Now, this is going to probably blur it a little bit. Yeah, see, it blurred it a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Now, I think I'm going to add a new layer so I don't affect the slime ball underneath. I'm going to get a brush and set it down to one pixel size. And is that the one we should... A pencil. Pencil with one pixel and then it's a square. And I think we probably want a dark... Let's do the actual Life Preserver orange first. So we're going to choose a nice orange. I think that's a pretty good orange here. And I'm going to just color in, I think, just all of where it goes a little bit. I'm going to color in the whole lot first. But just where it goes, just, I think, like, this block here is actually um, a green block. Same as that one and that one and that one. But they're just nearly, they're so nearly transparent that you probably won't even notice on YouTube. But that's why I made a new layer. Because we can then delete the old slime ball underneath it afterwards so I'm going to color the whole thing in just to make things easy for me I can then make my own circle in the middle so I think that's a good orange though that's a good orange for a life preserver then we're going to grab another color a darkest orange just a slightly darker orange to go around the lip this will give us a little bit of a sort of 3d look so we're going to lip this around the outside oops that one that one all the way up there. So we've got a nice, a nice circle. Then we want to do an inside. And again, we're going to use the darker orange for the inside. We want to leave as much room as we can, really. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. So if I do this wrong, I can then just like undo it really easily. But I'm going to go here, which is four blocks in from the... Like four blocks of the lighter orange. 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 And then that gives us a middle circle. So that gives us like a donut. But it looks like the donut's going to be a little bit too fat, a little bit too chunky. You're meant to, I think you're meant to be able to get your body through the middle of these. So, we're going to make a new layer, delete that inner one, and we're going to come out one. So now it's going to be three blocks. Make it a little bit bigger. Now, how are we going to get this diagonal? I think we're probably, we can, I think that is probably going to be our best option to keep it as round as, as we can get on this scale. That looks better. And then what we could do is we can get the rubber, the eraser, whatever you want to call it, and take out the middle here. Oh. Uh, pencil. There we go. If you use the brush, it tends to um, not completely delete uh, the edges of the brush area. It, it seems to blur it. The pencil is like an exact dot. You see, so now we want a little bit of white. So let's grab. I'm gonna go for a just off white color. If you can't find the color that you want in here, you can go to color libraries in Photoshop and then you can choose like uh, down the side here, you can find like a white that you like, you know, something near white. Like if I go down to the grays, we're gonna need something slightly gray. I'm gonna click that, then go back to picker, and then I'm just gonna edit this up a little bit. There we go. No, that's not quite white enough. I just want something not 100% white, just just barely off-white. That's not the one. And then we'll go back to pencil, and then we can put this in here. So it looks very white, but it's just off-white, so it should stand out a little bit against some other stuff. So we're going to put those in. Then we want a slightly darker one again, so I'm going to drag this down and drag this down. And we get ourselves... A slightly darker white it's just like a, a, a gray and we're gonna put these at the edges to make it look like it sort of wraps over the edge I'm not the best at this 
and doing it on camera really isn't easy. If we can delete the slime ball behind here now, and ta-da, we get ourselves a life preserver. Now, you can go into nuts detail if you want. Uh, we can do things like, I don't know if this would look any good, but we can grab ourselves a black, and you can make it look like there's something written on here. Like, I don't know, uh, the HMS Zonocraft. Uh, or, or something like that. Uh, what is it? This one, this one, that one, and that one. So it sort of goes around like that. I like that, personally. I don't think that looks too bad. And uh, I think we'll finally, we're going to grab this orange, and we're going to just do a slight, a slight, slightly darker. Not dark, uh, not as dark as this one, but just slightly different. And I'm going to just dot around these randomly now this is going to look really weird to some of you at first but if you look at a lot of textures in minecraft they're not one solid block color they have like different shades of each color in them so we're going to put some of these around here like that and i'm going to do the same thing with the darker one so i'm going to make a slightly darker version of the darker one that might be a little bit too dark oh no that's okay and i'm going to do this around the edges and the inside as well so just like i don't know 30 to 40 percent of the blocks make a different a slightly different shade Like that and to that we get ourselves a light preserve I think I want to do that with the white as well. So just get like an in-between white so something like there and there And then Just something like that Okay, that looks good. I'm happy with that. We've got ourselves a light preserver. So what we're gonna do is save it if it asks us where to save it, which it does, we're going to save it in whatever folder it says. Don't change it. So slime ball, and we want to save it as a PNG image. And on, as soon as you change to PNG, you'll see all the other ones come up. We can hit save. Do you want to um, replace it? I do. I don't want the old slime ball. Okay. And boom, it's done. I shall see you back in Minecraft. My face got a little bit bigger. <laughs> the face cam in the corner. Did that jump then? That might have frozen. I apologize if it did. It might have just been my monitor. So, I'm in Minecraft, but because I didn't um, close Minecraft, it still looks like a slime ball. It needs to update. Instead of closing down Minecraft and reloading it back up again, all you need to do is go to Options, go to Resource Pack, take it off, hit OK. Let it load. It takes a little while to uh, change a texture pack. And then once it's done, put it back over again and it'll sort of update and sort of realize, oh, it's not that slime ball anymore. It's meant to be a life preserver. So there we go. We can go back to resource packs, switch it back over again, stick it on. Not that the city looks that much different in a normal texture pack, just mostly the roads and stuff uh, is what the, the texture pack is for. And boom, we get ourselves a life preserver with the hole in the middle because obviously we used Photoshop which allows us to have a transparent layer. If you're using Microsoft Paint for this you won't be able to get that hole in the middle. But we got ourselves a light preserver. And it, it's pretty good. I like how we made it a little bit bigger. We can see it on the walls here. I think that's successful. I think we done very very well there. What don't you think? Yeah we got ourselves light preservers and it looks awesome in your hand. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think we've done really good, really good there. I'm very, very pleased. All right, that is all we've got time for this episode, but I am so chuffed. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.